Hello and welcome to the Everything Guide to Learning Guitar. My name is Steve Fletcher and it's uh, my privilege to welcome you to these videos that I've put together for you to take you on this journey. Before we get started, can you please subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video, and please leave a few comments. That would be always lovely to hear from you. Uh, every single video in this series has got an accompanying sheet, which can be downloaded from my website at FletcherSteve.com. It's really important that you do get hold of those accompanying sheets because it's always really helpful to have that visual aid to help you along the way. So head over there and download those now. Ship to Wreck by Florence and the Machine. Quite possibly my favourite Florence and the Machine song. And it was released to critical acclaim from their 2015 album, How Big, How Blue, How Beautiful, which is also a phenomenally brilliant album. So far, the track's had more than 17 million streams and downloads, so it's, it's doing all right for the band. Um, now, the strumming pattern. Rock, strum, plus. Now, at first glance, it looks very, very similar to rock strum. And indeed, it is very, very similar to rock strum. It's got that hole in the middle, just like rock strum does. But what it also has is an extra up at the end. Now, what's so difficult about that? Well, this is the first time that you've had an extra strum on beat four and. That's the half beat in between beat four and beat one. What that means is the gap you've got to change chord is now no longer one beat. It's only half a beat. So that makes that a lot, lot tighter with that chord change. The other thing that it does is it means that every bar kind of rolls into the next one. So you get this down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. So it's a very relentless sounding strumming pattern that you're doing. It does take a little bit of getting used to to really gel everything together. We're bringing back the F major seven for this song. It's a great chord. Um, if you did the three finger one last time, it's fine. You can do the three finger one for this one. But maybe, just maybe, you might want to give the four finger and the thumb one a try. If your hands are still, still too small to do that, don't panic. You can always do the three finger one. That is F major seven. There's nothing wrong with it. But I do always just say, you know, give it a try. Try the other one. Your fingers are a little bit more limber than they were before. So for this one, we're going to go straight through. We're going to go the intro, then the bridge, and then the chorus. No repeats on anything. Again, one, two, three. Go. What we're going to see this time is we're going to add the repeats for the verse times two, the bridge times two, and then straight into the chorus. We're not going to repeat the song. One, two, one, two, three, go. <laughs> Yeah. 
So this is everything all the way through, intro, verse, bridge, chorus, and every with all those repeats and everything through twice, as it says on that sheet. One, two, one, two, three, go. the chorus. 